But I'm here with Fonzie Thornton, who is a huge part of this documentary. I know you wear many hats. Yes. What was one of the most exciting parts of this project for you? Just to finally get it done. Just to, just to finally get it done and for people to get a chance to know how brilliant this person is. People just think that Luther is a great singer, but they didn't know that he was a visionary. He created all of this music. He co-wrote and co-produced everything, you know, and he was, he was also somebody who championed background singers. When we were coming up, he was always giving out parts. Fonzie, you sing this. Robin, you sing that. And it's become a big part of his music, the call and response between him and his background singers. So it's just so exciting to finally get the story told so people get to see you know, the, the, the guy came such a long way from us in the projects to this point here. Yeah. You know what's interesting, and I love talking about this, it's that transition from becoming a background singer yes, yes. to a lead singer. That yes. is one of the biggest jumps it really is. to make. And he has set the stage he really did. for background singers to have that hope that, yes, yes, yes I can he too yes, he make really. it. Yes, he really did. What do you think specifically was so unique about Luther that really set him apart? to kind of be that forefront runner from think, going and transitioning into the lead singer? Well, for many years, you know, Luther, of course, as we see in the film, you know, he worked as a backup singer for Roberta Flack and, and David Bowie and, and many others. And he came through the ranks as a very um, popular and big money earning uh, jingle and backup singer. And he was, a, he was a person that believed that background singing is an art form and he's one of the people that promoted that. So he always was a great singer and had a great voice, but he also knew his way around, how do we make this sound? How do we make this mean something to people? People love the call and response between him and his singers and him and his band. So, you know, I just, just as his friend since I was 14, I'm just so proud, since I was 14, just, just, just proud, and we've sang, we sung and hung out that whole time and laughed and had a really, really fun time. So it's just, it's just a wonderful day for the, those of us that are his family. And yeah, music you've known him since the start. <laughs> and what is one of your most special memories that you have with Luther that you'll always remember? Well, well, it's one, it's it's actually in the film, the uh, the night he won his first Grammy for Here and Now. I went with him. You know, he said to me, "I'm not gonna win anyway. I've been nominated nine times, and then he won." So, yeah. You know, so, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of his older friends have said that they knew from the start yes. how special oh, and absolutely, he was. Absolutely. What was the moment you knew Luther was going to be big? Well, you know, the the moment I joined his first vocal his first vocal group, and I saw him giving out vocal parts, and I heard his voice. I said, "This guy is going to be on the radio making big hit records." And here we are. You know what I'm saying? He always had an idea that he knew where he was going. And he had no plan B. He said, this is what I'm going to do for my life, is make music and, and, and make artists this happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he has really set the stage and is yeah. such a true inspiration yes. to so yes. many. I know that this documentary is truly going to inspire so many. I, I really think that it will. So I'm excited for all of you yeah, yeah, yeah. and, of yeah. course, the entire team in the production of this. Yes, yes, yes. I know that we're forever going to remember Luther in so many different ways for all of his many talents. He's so deserving. He was such an amazingly brilliant man. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank it's you such so a much pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.